Hey Stampers, Gator again, two in one night. Ooh, not bad for me. <laughs> but uh, I just thought I'd ha I had a flick through the magazine and I saw a card that I'd use this. I know it's retired, but you know, I've got some spare card here. I'm just, I can't remember how this cuts out. So let's have a go. And we're going to make a nice card between us as well. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Boys. You are a diamond. Okay. Thank you, baby. Love you. It's a star. Ah, there's my medication. So, I can't remember if this oh, cuts all the way out. Ah, oh, it just leaves. It's just the pattern it pulls out. Ah, oh, right. So let's keep this as straight as possible. I'm not the best with punches, I must admit. Not like border punches, uh, at least. Oh, it's quite stiff, actually. Yeah, it just cuts it out. So, as long as I've kept a straight line, which is not that perfectly straight, so we can snip that off. And then if I do myself, say, three quarters of an inch, let's see how wide that is. Yeah, that'd be fine. Three quarters of an inch by four and one eighth. Or let's do three and seven eighths, actually. Let's put that in my scraps bin again. I can glue that on there. and then just chop off what we don't need so I have the best bits. Let's do that. I haven't been quite adventurous really lately. So let's just glue the edge. Of my card. And then let's just sit this. Nice. Let's use our scissors. To cut those little bits off. And fingers, we'll find somewhere for this to go. Let's tidy up that glue. I know it dries clear, but my OCD won't let me. You can have it that way. We can have it that way. Depends. But we'll set that to one side and we'll probably use that somewhere on this card. I haven't used punches for ages. So I'm going to be using Abby. We're just going to make this up as we go along this card. I, I quite like them sort of ones. Instead of having a pre prepped one. I fetched over my ornate dies because I've got the gold leaf stuff. That's not uh, the best looking card in the world. So. That's straight now. Better. And I fetched some petal pink. Because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Not pretty. I love the paper. Oh, there it is. I love the paper to this. I just think it speaks volumes. You would just put a label on that and a ribbon and a way to go. Do you know what I mean? So there's petal pink in there. I was wondering, with the dyes, could we actually cut a flower out? You know, like this one. You know, aim for towards the stem. Maybe just cut that out, or even just cut one of these flowers out. I think that one would work, wouldn't it? Mm. 
So let's have a look. What about this? No, I don't, don't think anyone would notice if I ch cut that out of there. And uh, there's uh, some stems. Oh yeah, there's a stem one as well. And a leaf. So you could perhaps Mm, not so much on that one. Look, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then you could stamp the flower image over the top. And stamp the leaf image over the top. This, the possibilities are endless. So let's just pop that in there for a minute. While Gaina gets her thinking cap on. Right, oh, I'll fetch the embossing folder over as well, the textured 3D embossing folder. This is uh, it's made, it's supposed to make it look like paint as well, the painted textures. So let's run that through. This is fun and games now, I've got to find a layer that will It's too thick, I find. I know it's worked this time. Do you know where I was going wrong, I think, before? It was because I was leaving that little thing paint on. And I should have taken that off. Let's have a look at this. Look at the state of that. They're not selling these no more because they're going back to the drawing board. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. Beautiful. Now that could go on there. That is stunning. Beautiful. I'm going to add that on there. Tell you what, let's use dimensionals. I know I've been using them quite a lot. There they are. Which is the best? I don't think there's any best side to this. I quite like that side, so. Make it up as we go along. I'll just get everything out to this set. And okay to me and that's good let's go oh i love that so i also fetched over your nate dies i might just cut that out of there now this is three and a quarter so i'll work on my little machine Four and three quarters by three and a quarter is the perfect size to cut that out. Right, so make sure everything's together. Gonna break the machine. I'm gonna I'm definitely not.
Wow, that is tough. Big one. That was stiff. Nothing, and it hasn't even cut it out. Look at that. It's got like a film over the back. Oh my gosh. Why would they do that? A shame. Look, I've just wrecked that piece of paper. So here's, well I haven't wrecked it all, so let's just, let's, my goodness, it's coming off in parts. I've run it through twice as well, there and back, there and back. Just hold this up to the light. We're getting there. Use plenty of shims, I would say, if you're gonna die cut the acetate out. I'd love to show you a picture in the book because they've used the stitch circle dies on one of them and they've actually managed to cut it out. Ah, clipped myself in the face. I'm just trying to follow that pattern. Mind you, I'd have to sit and poke all these holes out. No, that's ruined. That's ruined. Wow. I can't even put that back on. Try to cut that again. Let me just try. Please bear with me a second. Perhaps if I had a shin of paper as well. Now. 
let's have a look. Oh, something's come off. I mean, what's the point in selling us acetate and then your dye is not being able to fit through there? A couple of the little things in the corners have popped out. No, this is knackered. I don't even know why I bothered trying. Um, right, let's go to plan B. <laughs> let's just use the Zanzira paper instead. Let's do this three inches by four and a half. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. I've done that quite a bit though just lately, haven't I? No, I won't get rid of those bits. Let's do what I said with the other one and grab a sheet of this to go with our petal pink. We must have a petal pink paper. I'm going to use that one, I like it. And I'm going to cut this at. What's the width of this? Two and a half inches. And that one is about two and a half inches again. So let's cut two and a half inch strip up this. There's no need to waste. So cut that out, wouldn't it? Let's do a three inch strip. Let it get some. We've got to have a play. We sort that out after. Lovely. Oh, it goes nice with that, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to have that one. Sorry about this. on there, lovely. Absolutely stunning, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I'm gonna have the next one. Let's do the yellow one as well. Fits in there beautiful. And let's go for this one as well. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, 
side. I'm going to keep this out just for a sec because we are going to do some. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to pop them on dimensionals. I'm just going to pop them at the top for a minute. Because I want to do stems. That's beautiful. Let me see what we've got. My art gallery dies. Oh, I've pulled them out already. I need to get the leaves. flowers out the way and I'm gonna use old olive because that it's what one of the colours it matches on. Just gonna do the two, I think, because the back flower is gonna, not gonna be seen that much. They are striking flowers. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it in a minute. So let's chop this down to three and a half or less, so I can use on. Um, got to make sure this is really straight. And now it's been used a couple of times. I'm going to turn that round. Stemming in view. Perfect. Just move them slightly. Turn that, turn that round again. You saw it better last time. Gorgeous. So what I might do then with these, I'm just going to glue these down. Just 
maneuver those. for that bottom. Right, where's that? Let me just grab this and I'm going to just trim off the bad bit. a little piece. That goes on the back of there. Making sure it's level. Perfect. That's going there. Oops. <laughs> Another one on there. I'm going to lower that one if I haven't pressed on it too. Oh, I have. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'll get you back into view. That's better. striking and then this can go along the bottom just a contrast of color isn't it so let's do this down the bottom actually running along the bottom Stunning. Right, now we need some more whisper white. I've got these bits here. I think that should be wide enough. My drink's gone cold. Excuse me. Because this has got that them big words, I could plaster them over the top. Oh, maybe I will. But with a flirty flamingo, my blushing bride. Blushing bride as well. Flamingo, but I don't have any. That's a bit bright. Let's use this blushing bride. Just 
I don't think I'll use the eye bit. So we'll use the eye after all. want to say, or maybe I should have done that a little bit darker. You are lovely. Oh, and we can use that to die cut it out. Let's die cut that out first, and then we can get it stamped on level. It doesn't say the words I love you because it's got best wishes, I miss you, good luck, happy birthday, I'm thinking of you, congrats, thank you, and sorry. The words I love you wouldn't go amiss, would they? Right, just let that relax and then you just pick it up. Let's go with. use this. Let's use that lovely peacock. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That can go across there. Perfection. If I change my mind later, I might just go over that and cut another one out and just glue it on the top so it stands out a little bit more. But I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals for this. Uh, 
with that. That is lush. Um, right, let me just have a quick note in my catalogue because I'm not sure if this came with ribbons. Oh, yes, it did. What have I got? Give me two seconds. this one embroidered ribbon fine art three-eighths of an inch ribbon and this is not the fine art no but it's nice I've not used it yet Mess with the loops until they get something nice. It's a nice ribbon. I have it unless it's coming on my next order which won't be long before it's here just want to say you are lovely I've twisted those now. That is cute. That can go on there. Grab some of my little tape. As you do. I don't want to cover that up. down that's why there we go oh my goodness that is so cute and the last three of those little gems I had I want to say you are lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Another round of it. I, could have, I wish I'd have turned that round now to match the gems. So it's got silver on one side, gold on the other. But oh my goodness, how cute 
is this card. I just love this. I'm just having a quick move. Yeah, now that's not the ribbon for it, but it, it's pretty similar. Pretty similar. So, Dimensionals Art Gallery stamp set. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Floral. I love that cute little die. So, I have got more paper. Oh, and this absolutely beautiful on the other side as well maybe I should have done that just want to say out of this side of the paper oh well I can always change it anyway so there you go there's my beautiful card I love the contrast of colour it hasn't all got a match has it perfect 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 put my little tools away and I'm done there we go I'd love a thumbs up and a share I'll hold that up so you can see it a little bit closer just want to say you are lovely and yay there we go thank you for watching my battery is starting to get out low so come back and see me in the next video till then bye